These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <clears throat> it's happening. What's up, everybody? It's Grim Green back here, and today we're doing the pod ranked video. I know it's been a while. Here we are at the very, very, very end of September pod ranked video. We're just going to get into it. Many things are coming off the desk. I think possibly two things might also go to the Hall of Fame, but I'm getting ahead of myself. First things first, I have to make a really big apology. Between the last pods ranked and this pods ranked, I was planning on getting some Oxva stuff. I know the Oxva Slim is something that people want to see reviewed in Oxva stuff in general. I haven't got any Oxva stuff and I've been trying. It's just difficult to get this stuff in the United States, it seems. So I'm still trying. I hear you guys talking about the Oxva stuff, and I'm still trying. So first things first, I don't use disposables, but I went ahead and bought a disposable when I was out at Steel Valley Vapors for the Yo-Yo meetup in Ohio, just because I really like this Turk disposable that's like a Turk tobacco. It's a 20 milligram disposable, and I use it very, very sparingly. I also received recently an Inokin disposable, the Innobar. The flavors are maybe a little bit hit and miss. These are five zero milligram disposables. Can't do it, it's just too much nicotine. Pineapple coconut. Oh, so much nicotine. It's good, it's pineapple-y, it's coconutty. I know it hung around last time, but the Pasito Mini is leaving the desk. It's neat, but from a complete lack of use. Caliburn Iron Fists are also leaving the desk for the exact same reason. I felt no desire to go back to them. I didn't think they were so good of a vape that I'm like, well, you know what, let's set up that Iron Fist. In addition to the Iron Fist leaving, the G2 coil head based Tiny Caliburn is also leaving. Same coil head leaving. The Novo 2X that was around in the last pods ranked has already left in between the last two videos, and my Oxva Slim SE pod has also died in that time, but I'm gonna keep this battery around in the hopes that I can get some new Oxva Slim SE pods. I think this Weenax Q is going to take off. This pod lasted me a real good long time. It is finally, finally dead now though. That pod will kind of be sticking around. I don't have a review for it yet, but there's a new Geek Vape Q compatible pod. Vapes almost identically because it is the identical pod. The Vapresso Vico Go's are leaving, not because they're bad, it's just because these and myself just never really got along. I couldn't get along with the size, I couldn't get along with the way that these vaped. See, now we're getting down to like top five area. So, other important things leaving. The Vupu Vinci will be leaving. I know it's stuck around in the last pods ranked, but it's leaving. And really the only reason being is it was completely sidelined by the Cross 3 Mini. They're like the same basic size, the same basic shape, form and function, except these use the Cross series of coil heads, which I feel are superior coil heads and I much prefer the more slender whistle tip. Oh, yep, it's happening. It's happening. I knew it was going to happen. Damn it. It happened. It happened. That poor Sonder U. I said last week it was kind of shit or get off the pot time with the Sonder U. And I, I think it's time to get off the pot with the Sonder U. It's not a bad vape at all. In fact, I still really like it. It's just not doing too much for me anymore. It's still lightweight, it's still flavorful, but I don't think the Sonder U is headed towards the Pod Hall of Fame, unfortunately. Look, it takes a lot to get to the Pod Hall of Fame. Like I said, I use pods <laughs> a lot. I take them very, very seriously. Pop reel sticking around. It's not gonna be in the top five because I don't know exactly where to put it. It's not quite a pod, it's not quite a thing. It's more disposably. I did a review on this. I still really very like it. It's still very hands-free, really good flavor. My battery started doing something really weird though, where when I flick liquid out of it, it will fire just slightly. It clears the liquid and fires and vapes just fine afterward, but I don't know where that's coming from. So we'll keep an eye on that, but the pop reel staying. Lux X Pro definitely also staying, although not really gonna be probably in the top five. It's just staying on the desk. I, I just love it. I did a review for it. Open mouth to lung, open restricted lung. It's got a fire button, it's got a hair trigger, really standing the test of time, honestly. Oh, man, this is tough. Okay, like always with the pods ranked, I do my top five and then there's always, oh no. I forgot, 
I forgot, I thought I had this all figured out. I do not. The mother trucking Calmia just keeps mother trucking along. I use it constantly, frequently. It doesn't have the best battery life. It doesn't have the best capacity, but damn it, it's such a slim and slick little pod. It's one of the most cigarette pods that I keep around and I keep it around for that reason, for the like lightweight hand feel cigarette type feel to it. It just happens to also vape great. So I love the Calmia. It's sticking around, but it's being dropped out of the top five because reasons that will be explained right now. The top five is gonna look like this. If I had a top six, this would be in the number six position. This Eco Nano is just knocking on the door of the top five. They say 13,000 puffs. After using it this long, I believe it. I believe 13,000 puffs. I recently refilled this up for possibly maybe the second or third to last time, but the flavor now, only now after, I mean, weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks of use is finally starting to show its age. Mm-hmm. This little thing just came out of nowhere and was suddenly awesome, so it's gonna be in the top six. The number five position is going to be, I think, the, the, I think this is the first time that an Inokin product has broke the top five of a pod ranking, but the new Inokin Arc Fire, I think, is deserving to be the first Inokin pod to get into the top five in the pod ranking. I have been pleasantly surprised by this pod, pleasantly surprised by the lightweight hand feel of it, pleasantly surprised by the quality of vape from it. I went 14 days with one coil head, very, very tremendously, very heavy use. And after 14 days, it kind of started showing its age. But in those 14 days, that was one of the best. No, it was the best Inokin pod experience I've ever had. So that's why it's in the number five position. In the number four position, it's like the comeback kid story of the year. It's that Aspire Cyber X, you know? I got this, I loved it, I took it on an international trip with me and it died because a train ride made it leak into the battery and it really bummed me out. So Aspire got me some more Cyber Xs, a few batteries, a bunch of new pods. I'm happy to report that these pods have been properly put through their places. Places, paces, still crackly, still flavorful, still delightful. I still love the thumb and finger divots in this battery solidly in the number four position. I hate that this one is, is this what it always comes down to? In the number three position, it's gonna be the Nevox Feelin' A1, but, and there's a severe but to this, with these style pods. This one is a 0.8 bottom fill pod, not the crack to fill pods. These vape substantially better. Whoops, don't put it in the bottom. These vape substantially better than the crack to fill kind. It's something that's hard to explain. The air flows better. These get less gurgly. Otherwise, this thing is still wowing me into the ground. I love the battery life. I love the airflow control. I love the vape that I get from these coils. Mm -hmm -hmm. The Nevox Feel and A1, I have a feeling possibly by the next pod ranking, it's gonna be number one or into the Hall of Fame. And that's where we're gonna get to the number one position in the Hall of Fame position. I'm also recognizing that the Nevox Feel and A1 is down a position from the last pod rankings in number three, but I'll explain because it always seems like there's the rivalry between the Caliburn and the Cross 3 and the Caliburn and the Cross 3 and the Caliburn and the Cross 3. And like all my pod rankings, the number one position is always given away by the number two position. So I'm just gonna hold these two up right here. This is the Cross 3 Mini. This is the Caliburn A3S. This is the number one position. This is the number two position, I know. But here's the thing, both of these are going to go to the Hall of Fame. I have really like racked my brain, honestly, like given way too much thought, time, and attention to these two pods just going head to head. I had an idea of what the top five would be, but I didn't know what was gonna be number one, and I knew it was gonna come down to the Caliburn and the Cross, and I have just been going ham on these two pods for the last few months 
And after all of that vaping, after the bottles and bottles and bottles of guava jelly that went through here, I'm pretty confident in saying that the Cali burn, it just lasts slightly, slightly longer than the cross coil heads and has that like level of crispiness that I can only get like occasionally in the cross he coil heads. I do get it and I still do get that amazing flavor. I think the cross series of coil heads is still one of the best series of coil heads on the market, hands down. But I think this pod's ranked cross three number two, Caliburn A3S number one. The Caliburn A3S is going to replace the A2S in the Hall of Fame. Right now, the A2S is sitting in the Hall of Fame, but they don't really make or support that product anymore. This is kind of the next version of it, so it's going to replace the A2S. And then the Cross 3, honestly, deserving, very deserving, finally is going to be in the Hall of the Fame. It Hall of the Fame? Been a little bit of a long day, okay? Cross 3 and the Cross 3 series of pods. I love the Nano, I love the Mini very deserving to be in the Hall of Fame. I think anybody who smokes could pick up anything in the top five and have a very satisfying experience. And that's why I do this. And that's why I take it so seriously. I'm still gonna try to do another pods rank before the end of the year because I have a stack of about uh, five over here that all need to just start the review process. Inakin and Aspire coming out of nowhere, and then the Eco Nano making it almost into the top five. That, as they say, is what I got for today, everybody. Don't forget to leave me a like on this video, please, if you actually liked it. Even if you didn't like it, I'll still take the like. Hit that subscribe button. The goal of this YouTube is to help and inform as many people who smoke as possible that this exists and is out there and can help them quit smoking. I'll gather the links to my original reviews for all of these products and put them down in the description below. If you're someone who currently smokes cigarettes, now's definitely the time to switch. It's 2023, better living through science, better living through technology. There is a world of safer nicotine products out on the market for you. In the description of this video, I'm gonna put links to Just Science and Just Education. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay smoke free, you guys. Every single day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and then I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so.